Um, I'm really pleased to be here today and uh, for a very important purpose to launch uh, um, with you the 20th report on the state of the drugs problem in Europe. Looking back over the years, it is very gratifying to say to see the progress made in developing a sound understanding of the drug phenomenon. Let me start with a very simple fact. The market for illicit drugs is the most dynamic of all criminal markets. It is a globalized and a rapidly changing market. The production of new psychoactive substances is increasingly taking place in the European <coughs> Union, moving closer to consumer markets. This growing criminal activity requires a clear, strong, and coherent answer at European level. That's why anti-drugs policy was included as an integral part of the European agenda on security, which the Commission, as you maybe know, adopted a few weeks ago. Tackling organized crime is one of the three main priorities of this agenda. The trafficking of drugs is often interconnected with other organized criminal networks, such as migrant smugglers and human traffickers. It is also linked to the financing of terrorism. Cracking down on traffickers let me tell you, it's not easy. The constant change of trafficking routes, which are largely affected by armed conflicts, make it increasingly difficult to trace the drug traffickers. So we will have to intensify our efforts. This is one of our priorities. Let me turn now to the issue of new psychoactive substances. A cornerstone of our approach on drugs policy is how to tackle the so-called new drugs phenomenon. Thanks to the early warning system that has been developed over the years by the Drugs Agency and Europol, just in the year 2014, we were able to identify 101 new uncontrolled psychoactive substances. This brings the total number of substances being monitored by the agency to over 450. And we understand that this number is growing. The speed at which new psychoactive substances can appear and be distributed is particularly challenging. To deal with uh, such substances, the Commission has put forward a proposal that will strengthen the existing legal framework. It is essential that the Council and the European Parliament move swiftly towards the adoption of the legislation. It will strengthen our responses and uh, equip us with better instruments to deal with these substances. It will make us more efficient, more effective. Another phenomenon I am particularly concerned with is, with is the growing use of the Internet as a new source of supply for both controlled and uncontrolled psychoactive substances. The Drugs Agency Monitoring has identified around 650 websites selling so-called legal highs to Europeans. Social media and apps play an active role 
in drug markets, whether used directly for buying and selling drugs or indirectly for marketing, opinion forming or experience sharing. Criminals abuse anonymization techniques and anonymous payment mechanisms for the illicit online trade of drugs. So, needless to say, Europe needs to address this problem urgently. And I have the intention to raise this issue with internet companies. I will also discuss uh, with them actions on radicalization prevention and uh, um, smuggling advertising. The drugs agency, Europol, and the European Medicines Agency are already cooperating, are working together very well within the early warning mechanism on new psychoactive substances. Moreover, the drugs agency and the European Center for Disease Prevention and Control are working together on drug-related infectious diseases, assisting member states in assessing associated risks. I note, for example, their joint work on recent HIV outbreaks. This close and regular cooperation among all relevant European agencies should be strengthened even further in the future. But acting in a coherent way at the European level is not enough. The drugs phenomenon is not just and only a European challenge. It is a global challenge. It requires global and comprehensive engagement. Next year, as you know, the special session of the United Nations General Assembly will take place next April will review the current policies and strategies to confront the global drug problem. This will be a key moment for worldwide action on drugs. It is also an opportunity to work on an international scale to promote a balanced approach grounded on harm reduction, public health, and human rights. Ladies and gentlemen, we have no time to spare. To fight the drug phenomenon, we need to show determination and commitment. We need to be coordinated at the national, <coughs> European, and the international levels. Rest assured that the Commission, together with the Drugs Agency, will continue to play a leading role in this effort. Thank you very much for your attention.